Hey everyone. I have a client that got a $600 water bill and it was one of those things that uh, she wasn't expecting and one of those costs that in general people aren't expecting when you move down here from really specifically a northern state like I did from Minnesota. So we're going to go over these costs that are associated more so to the southern states but even a few that are really specific to Florida and we're going to do that up next. Hey everyone, I'm Bill Bishop. I'm with the Living in Palm Coast real estate team. And if this is the first time to this channel and you're interested in learning more about what it's like to live, play, work, and retire here in Palm Coast, Northeast Florida area, you know, hit that subscribe button, hit that little notifications bell and you get notified every time we get a video. Also, uh, you know, we're getting calls from people every day about what it's like to live here in Palm Coast and the surrounding area, Ormond Beach, Daytona. And uh, we love hearing from you guys. And if you ever have any questions or you wanna uh, find out what it's like to move here and live here in Palm Coast, just hit us up with a text message or a phone call. Hit us an email. Our, all of our information, our contact information is in the description box. So there are some sneaky costs associated with Florida. And what I mean by that is that uh, there are some uh, costs that I didn't really incur when I moved down here from a northern climate, which was Minnesota, and I came down here. And uh, there are some fees and costs and things that are associated with just being in a southern climate. But also, more specifically, there's a few that are just specific to Florida. Okay, the first one I'm going to talk about is uh, pest control. So for those people who are moving down here from the northern states, you know, uh, where you have these really hard freezes, uh, pest control is uh, not as much of an issue. I'm not saying it's not an issue at all, but it's not as much of an issue as it is down here. Bugs are constant down here in Florida, and you have to have uh, your house treated. Uh, you know, most people get it done uh, on a quarterly basis. That's what I do. And uh, it's much more so down here than I ever had to do in Minnesota. When I had a bug problem in Minnesota, you know, when I had my house there, it was, uh, you know, basically, uh, you know, kind of DIY, it, do it yourself, and, and figure out where the bugs are, do your, you know, spray a little bit here and there. If it was something major, you know, I would call an exterminator. But uh, for the most part, uh, you know, it was kind of a one and done type of thing. Down here in Florida, I tell you right now, you're gonna have to get a pest control guy and they all kind of differ in a little bit in pricing. Uh, and we can help you hook, hook you up with that uh, when you get down here. So uh, that's, with regards to pest control and it could be you know I guess you know the cost of uh, the pest control kind of differs but what I pay is around a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars every quarter and that takes care of the whole uh, exterior uh, you know spray and then also all the interior so that gives you a little bit of an idea as to one of those costs that you might have that's a little bit more here than it is in the northern climates where you get those hard freezes. Number two uh, is lawn service. Now, you know, uh, most of us hardy Minnesotans and Midwesterners, uh, you know, we just had our lawn mower, we did our own uh, lawn care, but you know, it was a short season. You know, you had to mow your lawn for about three months down here. That's not the case. Uh, you know, all the lawns are irrigated, so they cut constant water, they constantly grow. During the summer, uh, you know, it, it, it depends, but it may be once a week. Uh, during the winter, it may be once every two weeks that you have to have the lawn service guy come by. But typically, it's kind of a flat fee. Uh, 
I have zero scaping in my yard, so I don't have really uh, much of a lawn. But uh, as far as uh, you know, my uh, clients and and uh, friends of mine, you know, they get their lawn guy. They usually stick with them forever. Uh, you know, these guys are pretty busy right now. So, uh, you know, I don't know what, even what their fees are, but, uh, you know, they vary. It can be 100 to $150 a month, uh, I, uh, compare, uh, depending on the size of the lawn. But that's one of the little sneaky expenses and one of the little sneaky costs that you might have. Now, some people had lawn service when, you know, up where I was up north, but for the most part, we were kind of a do-it-yourself when it came to lawn care. But the, the one nice thing about the lawn services and the way your lawn looks when it's done by a professional with all the nice edging, uh, the edge around your beds, uh, they make it look really nice. So that is the one advantage of having your lawn professionally done, but it is an added expense that some of you might uh, not be aware of, or you may. So anyway, that's lawn care, and that's number two. Okay, number three is, how's she doing? How's my baby? All right, number three, is uh, health and auto insurance. Now, I can only tell you my story. Uh, you know, when I was up in, uh, in my uh, in Minnesota, that uh, it's the best thing I can compare it to. And, and then I moved down here. I had Blue Cross Blue Shield up in Minnesota. Uh, moved down here, and there wasn't a huge difference in the premiums. It went up a little bit, but not significant. As far as auto insurance, uh, uh, that was. Um, uh, that was about the same, uh, and I think it really depends on uh, you know what kind of record you have, obviously. But I think uh, uh, you know a lot. Uh, I don't know. I think a lot of my friends have told me that their auto insurance was a, a little bit higher. Uh, I think it comes down to you know we live in Florida. Health insurance is going to be maybe a little higher, and also auto insurance, and it goes back to my old. Uh, stats class back in college where they talked about like actuarial tables and insurance companies and we have a demographic that's uh, maybe a little bit more prone to accidents an older demographic and we you know we have an older uh, demographic as far as health so you know there you go those two demographics that being higher so mine didn't go up quite as much but you know everybody's situation is different but it it is, I think, in general, a little bit higher in Florida than it is in some of the other uh, states. <clears throat> so, number four is uh, not going to pertain to everybody, but it will pertain to everybody with a pool. Um, if you're the DIY type of person and you want to take care of your own pool, that's great. Uh, but uh, most people get a, a pool service. Again, it's going to be, you know, around $100 to $150 a month, depending on who the guy is and where the pool is and how big the pool is, of course. But um, that is a little bit of an added expense that uh, you need to be aware of. If you never owned a pool and you're moving down here from a northern state and you want to have the pool and the, not the screened in lanai and the waterfalls and the jacuzzi and all that good stuff, that all needs to be taken care of. And, uh, you know, when you have your pool guy over, he's going to look at the whole package. He's going to say, hey, listen, you know, I can do it for this. And they typically come, you know, uh, once every two weeks, I guess, uh, but uh, I don't have a pool, so uh, I use the ocean. Uh, but, you know, uh, uh, that's just uh, part of the deal, you know, uh, part of the thing, uh, beauty of having a pool now. Uh, this, usually pools are the old 80-20 rule is that 80% of the people only use it 20% of the time. 20% of the people use it 80% of the time. So uh, a lot of it's sometimes just atmosphere and people love having a pool, which pool service, not terribly expensive, but you know, it it all adds up, you know, 100 there, 100 here, and pretty soon, you know, uh, monthly bills, uh, you know, two, three, four $400 in your lawn service and that, just that and the other thing, you know, those things kind of things can kind of add up.
Oh, number five is the one that got one of my uh, clients. My One of my clients bought uh, a beautiful, or built actually a, a beautiful home right on the beach. And she had never had an irrigation system before. This is another expense that you're going to have. You're not. You're, you're going to have uh, just the maintenance of it, but that that that's not that's not a lot. But uh, the water is what uh, adds up. So what happened with my uh, uh, my client that uh, built the house? She built the house. It was her and her husband. They uh, the irrigation guy came by and kind of explained. Didn't really do a very good job to be honest in explaining the irrigation system. I was actually kind of a little upset with him uh, on behalf of my client that he didn't, um, you know, he didn't do a better job of explaining it to my client. So what happened was there are zones in an irrigation system and then there are uh, times of day to set your irrigation. So zones and times of day. Well, um, my client got confused and um, instead of setting it for four, four zones, she set it to go off four times per day. So instead of going off once a day or once every other day or even once every, the system was going through and doing watering her lawn four times a day for a month. Hence, $600 water bill, non-negotiable, you got to pay it. Expensive mistake, uh, but even going forward, you know, uh, down here in Florida, uh, as well as, you know, obviously Arizona and these other places, if you have a lawn, um, you're probably going to have an irrigation system, and it's either going to be on the well water or the city water, and, um, you know, that's just kind of a little bit of an added expense when it comes to living here in Florida, living here in paradise, having a beautiful green lawn year round, uh, you know, takes work and takes, uh, you know, so either you do it or you hire somebody to do it. Most people hire, to be honest. Um, I don't want the hassle and it really looks much better. You know, your pool's taken care of, lawn's taken care of. And then there's one little bonus tip that, uh, you know, uh, one of the little sneaky costs when you're out looking at homes and uh, we always try to forewarn our clients, you know, and just let them know what are the HOA do. So this is kind of a last bonus tip on, um, you know, some of the things, the costs and things you need to be aware of when you're moving down here to Florida. There weren't a whole, in Minnesota, you know, there weren't gated communities. Uh, you know, there's gated communities everywhere in Florida. So those gated communities and those planned developments are going to have uh, some, probably some sort of an association dues with it. And it just depends on, you know, what comes with it. You know, sometimes it comes with all kinds of good stuff and you have to weigh those things. Uh, you know, one development here that we have uh, in, um, in Palm Coast, the conservatory, the, the association dues uh, also includes your lawn service. So you don't have to pay for your individual home lawn service. That's all part of your home association dues. So you got to kind of weigh those things when you're um, looking around. Uh, anyway, that's the bonus tip uh, on the sneaky cost that you're going to have when moving here. You know, like I said, most of the people uh, that are from Florida are like, ah, yawn, you know, we, all, we know all about that. But, you know, people who are moving like a lot of our clients are moving from the Midwest and everywhere uh, in those northern climates coming down here and uh, either buying or building. And uh, so we try to just keep you up to date on, you know, what's going on. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, again, I'm Bill Bishop. I'm with the Living in Palm Coast team, real estate team, and we'd love to hear from you. Uh, we get calls, like I said, all the time from people that are interested in, in relocating here in Palm Coast. So shoot us a call, send us a text. All of our information is in the description box below. And we absolutely love hearing from you guys and talking about uh, talking with you about um, what it's like to move, relocate here uh, in, in the Northeast Florida Palm Coast uh, area. Uh, so until next time, bye bye. We're all done. Yeah, we're all done with that little video. Did you like that? 
I think she liked the video. And uh, gets really excited about these things. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> you are funny. All right. Also, thank you. Uh, or also, there are two other videos that you can check out. Uh, and uh, we will see you on the flip side.